Good day ladies and gentlemen, it's news time at Commodity TV and Altona Mining just released this morning their June quarter production numbers and figures also for the balance sheet. Auto Kumpo meets production guidance in the first full year. That's the good news out of the company. The company produced in the June quarter uh, 1,809 tons of copper in concentrates and also 1,822 ounces of gold. The C1 cash costs were at $2.23 per pound of payable copper. Let's come first to the production. The June quarter copper production for the Adokum project was lower than the previous quarter due to lower ore volumes and the planned stopping sequence in lower grade ore. Well, the guidance is increased. Annual production guidance for the fiscal year of 2014 has been increased to 7,600 up to 8,400 tons of copper and 8,000 to 9,000 ounces of gold at C1 cash costs of around $1.70 to $1.85 per pound. The first full year of production exceeded initial guidance and met subsequently upgraded guidance. C1 cash costs. The C1 cash cost of $2.23 per pound of payable copper was above the fiscal year 2013 average of $1.69 per pound so far. Lower gold credits and production volumes contributed to this performance. Costs are expected to return to lower levels next quarter, so we will watch for that. Important cash flow from operations. The operating cash flow was $3 million positive after capital expenditures. The cash on hand is at 26.1 million Australian dollars plus receivables from concentrate sales of around $5 million at 30th June 2013. So the cash is up 15% from the March quarter. Let's come to expiration. Autocumpe drilling. A number of high-grade intercepts have been returned from the Wallaby Wombat Gap area and are expected to add to resources and reserves. Some highlights are 13.4 meters at 4.7% copper and 0.8 grams uh, gold per ton or 11.3 meters at 4.6% copper at 0.9 grams per ton gold. Roseby partnering. This is something which is really hotly discussed. Discussions with various parties to either sell, partner or finance the Little Eva project have yet to deliver an offer acceptable to Altona. The company has reduced activities at Roseby whilst the process continues also to save some money. Let's talk about the cash situation of the company. The company has currently 26.1 million Australian dollars in cash in the bank and receivables from concentrate sales of $5 million and in addition inventories of $750,000. A $2.1 million cash balance is also held as a security for environmental performance. The cash balance has increased from the prior quarter by over $3 million Australian dollars. Debt. The company has debt of 20.4 million US dollars with Credit Suisse. The principal repayments commence in March 2014. The loan will be fully paid by 30th June 2016. In addition comes that the company has also 1.8 million euros for equipment leases. At the time of writing this report, the copper price was at 5,310 euros per ton and the gold price was at 970 euros per ounce. The company has copper gold and zinc hatching denominated in euros. Deliveries into the hedge book this quarter were 540 tons of copper at 5,575 euros per ton and 873 ounces of gold at 1,190 euros per ounce and 201 tons of zinc at 1,475 euros per ton. That's hedging, that's why you should do it. The mark to market value of the hedge book at 30th June 2013 is at 7.8 million euros. Altona also undertakes short-dated, meaning three months hatching, to secure the revenue for the period between the receipt of the provisional invoice for concentrate sales and the final pricing. Altona has recorded a gain of $1.33 million on these hatches for the quarter. The last quarter shows the quality of the management led by Dr. Alistair Cowden of the company and the great work of all the employees. We are quite impressed that due to hedging and even at those low metal prices, the company has more cash than debt and delivered still a very good performance. We will watch out carefully for the next quarter. We will report, we will update you. Thanks and bye-bye.